Hi guys! And so today we're having a new thing for you. Um, we have decided to make a new... What is it called? You want to help me? <laughs> Sarah me? Um, a new section. It's a new segment. A segment. A new segment of Tea Time with Maya. Once a month. Once a month. Um, maybe the third week or just once we'll a month. We'll do it the last... We'll just continue the last week of the month. Yeah, and so in that month, I realized that I drink a lot of other teas besides the stuff that I make. I buy some some teas from the store. And so I wanted to share with you guys those teas. Um, and you might like them, you might want to go look them up, you might want to try them. Because not everybody has uh, can Time make, it, to make, make a tea. Teas yeah. I make. So um, I'm trying to find you guys some really good brands where it's like herbal or um, natural. Um, or caffeine free or maybe it has caffeine and they use real leaves. That's another one yeah. <laughs> You don't want to get some tea and you drink it. You're like that's a disgusting taste But it's tea and you didn't have to make it, but you still drink it, but these are good teas. So um, The tea for today the is company the company for today. Sorry is mighty leaf It's one of my favorites. Yes, this is mom's favorite tea. Yeah, I'm gonna can here. you bring it closer to the camera? This is my tea leaf. Um, you can, um, I don't know if you guys have these stores near you, but... You can order it online. You can order it online. And Sometimes they it's found in Whole Foods and in that's Golden the, the, the Whole Foods is the only place that I've seen carry it. Um, you can find it at um, like uh, boutique brands or... Um, but their biggest, largest line is online. Um, yeah. It's just mightyleaf.com. Basically, just type that into Google and it'll come right up. Um, and so, about the company, um, it is a boutique in San Francisco. It's been around since 1996. Um, it's fair trade and it is kosher. It has the KSA uh, certification. Um, the tea bags, which I want to show you one of them. Uh, one moment, sorry. stitched with a hundred percent biodegradable cotton and the shell in the middle is made of cornstarch um, it's unbleached cotton sorry the packet is big enough to hold two and a half two and a half grams of tea um, tea leaves or whatever your tea is inside of it and it's made um, really like open there's a lot of space and that's to give the leaves space to unfurl and open so your tea is like really um, aromatic and it is um, really flavorful like an intense flavor the brew time is on each box and it makes about 12 to 14 ounces of tea so it's like a big cup of tea for one tea bag they also sell loose leaf tea the tea pouches if you want um, iced tea and teaware and accessories. They also sell gifts if you want to buy someone like a huge tea thing. Like that would work for me. Like if anyone wanted to give me a gift, hint, hint, mother, you could just give <laughs> me a bunch of tea and I would be like over the moon. Um, about this tea, which I wanted to exp I wanted to explain about this tea because this tea right here is chamomile and this one is called Nectar African, oh sorry, sorry, it's called Organic African nectar. Um, and this is because this tea is rubus, rubus, rubus. We're, we're just gonna get the word wrong, sorry. Um, <laughs> and it is known as the red bush tea of South Africa. And it is made in the Western Cape um, area and like the mountains, and it has like a sweet honey taste. Um, so I wanted to tell you guys this one because I've never found this herb in any grocery store, so I wanted to explain it to you guys. Um, but yeah, so it's really good for morning, nights, just for calming and relaxation. And I honestly think you guys will love the tea. It's Not to mention it has a beautiful color. Yes, it's red. Like the tea is red. And I'm trying to get like a cup so I can show you guys what color this tea is. I'm not going to give you like the herbal things because this is a commercial tea brand, but this 
This is really good tea. <laughs> Guys, this is the uh, organic African nectar tea. And as you can see, it is a really rich um, color compared to and all the other teas. it smells so delicious. It does. To compare it to all the other teas on, my, on the channel, you see that it's like a, a goldish color, but this is red. Um, and that is because of the robust, robust. Yeah, what Robo. I can't say. Yeah, thank there you, you mother. Yeah, fine. R O O I B U S. If we're saying it incorrectly, just correct us in the comments. Oh, no it worries. It also has a marigold blossom and hibiscus in it, which also contributes some of the red. But they said most of the red is because of the word that we have trouble saying. Um, in on your all of your tea things, it gives you like the back history of where the tea came from. And then it will give you the creation of um, your tea brand. So, and it'll tell you if it's fair trade, what other things it is. It's USDA, whatever that thing is approved. And it is vegan. So, um, well, I hope you guys like this video. And um, please like, share, subscribe. If you have a tea that you want me to talk about, please comment that below. And I will get on that. And thanks for watching, guys. And